Well, it's only going to get hotter as the week goes on, especially in Paso Robles. KSBY News reporter Delaney White has more on how people there in the interiors are coping. People visiting Paso Robles this week tell me that their main focus is drinking plenty of water and staying in the shades, so that they can still enjoy their trip to the central coast while not experiencing any of those unwanted symptoms of heat-related illnesses. Summer has arrived and a heat wave is on its heels, causing people to prepare for the unpleasant weather it will bring. I'm staying inside for sure, fans on, AC on, trying to drink as much water as possible. Uh, stay hydrated, stay inside, um, that's usually what I'll do. Lester said she's nearly passed out due to the symptoms of heat exhaustion in the past. I've actually experienced it myself before. I was traveling and I just didn't drink any water. The heat is keeping people in the shade and choosing indoor activities is driving business downtown. I have not many outside activities to do as of right now, but the stores and stuff are super cute. I feel like we definitely see more people. Like we'll have lines like all the way down the corner of the street side. Um, yeah, the heat definitely impacts people coming in here. Larson says the heat is great for business. It definitely increases profit. I feel like throughout the whole summer, since we always have heat waves here, too, that's when we make most of the money, most of the profit. And local emergency room doctors are emphasizing the importance of drinking enough water, staying in the shade, not consuming excessive amounts of alcohol, and listening to your body during the heat wave in order to avoid those unwanted effects of heat-related illnesses. Delaney White, KSBY News.